When you go to a church founded in the 1630s, tradition takes on a whole new meaning. That's the situation in St. Mary's County, Maryland, nestled at the bottom of a peninsula between the Potomac River and Chesapeake Bay, a place of picturesque lighthouses and fabulous crab cakes. People in St. Mary's County take their history seriously. The first Maryland colonists landed there in 1634, aboard ships like this one at St. Mary's City, the first state capital. The churches I visited are part of this landscape of deep roots. Trinity in St. Mary's City dates from the colonists' landing and sits on the site of the first Capitol building, now reconstructed across from the churchyard cemetery. St. George's in Valley Lee was founded in 1638 and still features box pews, though the doors have been removed. Even comparatively new Ascension Parish, founded in 1951, installed half-box pews in order to tap into this rich sense of history. Some families have been worshiping at Trinity and St. George's for more than two centuries now. Along with revering tradition, the parishes of Trinity, Ascension, and St. George's are also hearing a call to connect with people whose families haven't been Episcopalians for 200 years. A group of young adults and families from these parishes has led an effort to figure out how to do church in new ways. Initially, they wanted to bring some changes to inherited worship on Sunday mornings, expanding the musical repertoires, using different prayers, making the experience a little more relaxed. But that impulse soon turned outward, as the young adult leaders saw an opportunity to connect with people who wouldn't be likely to venture into these traditional worshiping communities. And thus was born Gather, Eat, Pray, a collaborative, fresh expression sponsored by Trinity, Ascension, and St. George's. Gather, Eat, Pray meets in an art studio in Leonardtown, a somewhat more urban area of St. Mary's County, only minutes from the three sponsoring churches. In a place known for historic church buildings, the young adult leaders wanted to find a space that felt open and inviting to people who had no experience with liturgical worship, or whose experience of church hadn't been good. The art studio presents its own challenges, fitting kids and adults into relatively small rooms and occasionally tripping over paint cans, so it may not be the ultimate solution. But in it, Gather, Eat, Pray creates a warm, intimate experience of worship around God's table, with all sorts and conditions of people, the tall and the small, helping to lead worship. I believe that you suffer was crucified, buried, and dead. He descended in hell, and on the third day he rose again. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to give God, God thanks and praise. and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing to give thanks to you, God, and especially as we gather here, in this way, in this evening, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life. For we know that on the night before he died for us, our Savior Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, if you know these words, say them with me, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. We ask that you bless them through the power of your Holy Spirit, to make them for us to be your body and your blood. The community's life is still taking shape, including a new gathering, Thirsty Theology, at a local bar. And there are plenty of growing pains, 
both for the new worshiping community and for the sponsoring parishes. The three churches are working on an agreement to form a multi-parish council, a body to help coordinate shared ministry and to unify some of their administrative work, perhaps sharing staff positions. Being the church in new ways is never easy, particularly when you're trying to collaborate on both spiritual and temporal affairs. But the leaders of Gather, Eat, Pray, as well as the leaders of Trinity, Ascension, and St. George's, are working hard to follow what they see as the Holy Spirit's lead, building on the depth and richness of the communities they've known to bring a new community into being. Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. 